Um, no Gus's fried chicken for you? Um, nah, I didn't. I didn't get none yet. I, I'm gonna see, but I'm, I'm not sure. I think it's gone. Oh wow, like that? Yeah. Um, Ty Lu has been relatively even keeled all year. Um, but yesterday in his post game, it looked like he was the most frustrated I've seen him. Anyways, I was curious, what was your what was your take on on that? And I guess if that kind of thing can fuel you into the next game, especially when it's a back to back against the same team. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we are always frustrated. Um, you know, uh, you know, Memphis played a great game uh, last night. Uh, you know, they got to their spots, they made shots. Um, you know, I could feel his frustration. We could feel each other's frustration. So, um, you know, we wanted to come out first tonight with a hit first mentality. Uh, you know, try to get on the defensive end. It pretty much worked out for us. Move over to Shane Young. Hey, Kawhi, with uh, 34 assists on 44 baskets tonight, is this, you know, is this the type of ball movement you envision uh, and would like to see throughout the entire season? Um, yeah. The, you know, every game presents a different game plan. Um, so, you know, some teams are not going to be able to get assists. Uh, you know, I'm going to play to the matchups, but, um, you know, if we're moving the ball and touching the paint, uh, you know, it's, it's great for us. Let's move over to Justin Russo. Hey, Kawhi. <clears throat> Both bigs have been pretty good this season making decisions out of the short roll. But Zoo's ability to make the reads, especially the guys that are cutting, seems to be growing with each passing game. Is that an area of his game that, you know, the coaching staff and you guys have been happy to see develop over the year? And of course, uh, you know, he's getting that, getting the ball in those pockets, uh, knowing when to be aggressive and, you know, finding shooters, uh, you know, it's great. Um, we definitely want him to get better doing it. It helps our team. Okay, let's move over to Law. Why well, uh, you, you discussed uh, coming out with a different kind of entity to start games, uh, but I want to go to just starting quarters. Uh, you play most, you play pretty much all the first quarter. You play all the third quarter. You have a personal run in that third quarter where you mix it up on the block, catch and shoots, all that kind of things. Like, when do you, how, when do you feel like you have? mismatches you have you're you're hot and it's like I need I need to get the ball I need to capitalize on the fact that I'm rolling offensively like like how do you make your teammates know that I've got to go and get me to rock and get out the way pretty much um I mean obviously if we run a set play you know it's working for us we're gonna go back to it uh but I you know I try to play uh you know every possession um you know, like I'm making shots um, pretty much. Um, but like I said, you know it. Um, my teammates know it once, uh, you know, I score a basket or so. But, uh, you know, my mentality is just trying to get to the paint tonight, make their defense collapse, you know, kick it out. But, uh, you know, and I, I try not to, uh, you know, pry my aggressiveness on uh, making shots. If I'm missing shots, I want to keep being aggressive like I'm making. We'll move over to Farba. Hey, Kawhi, a bit of a lighthearted question. You know, we saw Paul George on his postgame presser, you know, kind of having his cheap food of Gus's fried chicken. Is there, is there a go-to place you like the most that's like your postgame win cheap food, especially you being from SoCal and you kind of knowing the places a bit? I mean, it just depends. It's not. It doesn't matter if I win or lose a game. Um, you know. Uh, you know. Sometimes I won't eat. You know, fried chicken or something like that. Uh, you know, um, in the whole week, uh, two weeks. Uh, it just pretty much depends on the day. Uh, I try to eat pretty clean, but um, my favorite food is Mexican food. Uh, so whenever I could. Uh, you know, I have a cheat day or something. I'm trying to get something uh, at a taco shop, the majority in San Diego. Do you have a favorite taco shop in San Diego that you, that's your go-to? Trios, uh, Trios Taco Shop. That's my go-to. Thanks, Clay. 
Okay, let's move over to Ohm, and then we'll close out with uh, Andrew. Hey, Kawhi. Um, I was wondering, as a guy who has championship experience, and when you're trying to lead this team, how much does it help you and help the other guys on this team to have somebody like Serge who has that championship experience? Like, how has he specifically impacted this team off the court with that type of experience? Um, just being through it, being through the ground, you know, being through that journey. Uh, you know, it's not necessarily just saying, champ, uh, you know, uh, winning a championship. Uh, you know, he's been there two times. Uh, he's been deep in, in playoff runs, going to conference semifinals, uh, conference finals. So it's just about, uh, you know, the experience he, he had and, you know, sharing it with us. Uh, you know, that's, that, that's, that's just a winning mentality pretty much. Just sharing your experiences, um, mistakes, or what we're doing good, and see, uh, you know, learning from your past. How did they get to this point? Or how did you get to that point? And just trying to share it with the team. Has there been any particular moment this season you've seen him where he's where he's you saw him kind of lead or do something or help somebody? Um, I mean, pretty much every game. You know, I mean, everybody's giving an effort to you know say something or. Um, you know, give their uh, take on what we should do well. So, uh, I mean, if you have communication like that, um, you know, it's great. Andrew, close us up before we get out of here. Why, um, kind of as it related to tonight, where Ty had a lot of adjustments he wanted you guys to make, um, it seemed like you went out and did it. Paul was saying that he really thinks Ty is, that's one of his best suits as, as a coach. He's excellent at making adjustments. Um, I'm curious this season, what your read is on this roster's ability to kind of learn from its mistakes and fix it pretty quickly. Is that something you guys still um, have a ways to go on or are you liking where uh, your progress is at there? Uh, I mean, we're getting better in some of those areas, uh, you know, adjusting, um, but we still got a ways to go. And, you know, sometimes it takes us a, a while to, you know, find uh, what's going on or what, what it was working well with this. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Uh, <laughs>